Alright guys, hello, welcome back. This is another journal with me. This is actually in my December insert, which I have a flip through of, and I will link that above and below for you guys if you have not seen that already. But today we are doing a mermaid theme page. This is actually the second time I'm doing this voiceover because for some reason I made it all the way through the voiceover last time and it never even recorded it. So, I'm going to try and make it as awesome as the first version was. Right now, I am tipping in some photos that I was going to journal about. These are from going to the mall with my aunt and my sister after Christmas. And I leave it on there for most of the spread and then I end up taking it off. Because I feel like the spread was better as an art piece rather than journaling about that day and of course I do journal about that day later I cut the edge of this photo off and I really like how that looked I kind of wish I had trimmed down the top a little bit too but maybe next time. So I wanted to draw a girl with her hair up and it just wasn't coming out right. It looks downright scary actually I think um, at this point. I clean her up a little bit and she looks a lot better but I just don't, it's not my thing. I don't like it. So I erase it and I end up drawing a mermaid which was a much better choice to go with my underwater theme anyway. And, I mean, come on, who doesn't love a good mermaid? And I really like how she came out. I think she looks adorable. Now I'm just outlining her with my Faber-Castell pit pens. This is the one in the small nib. I think small and the brush are my two favorite. So now I'm just going to use my water brush and color her in with this Peerless Watercolor Palette. This one is from Pan's Etsy shop, Little Magical Things, which I will leave in the description box below for you guys as well. It's beautifully put together. Um, I absolutely adore it. She laminates it as an insert like she does her dashboards and then she puts watercolor paper over that and then all these perfectly punched circles. It's just, uh, it's so beautiful guys. And it's perfect as a travel palette. I just keep it right in the back and if I'm out and about on the go and want to journal a little bit, I just need to have a water brush with me and then I have all of these colors at my disposal, so I highly, highly recommend getting one of those. This is a Pete's from Courtney's Patreon collage sheets. I will leave that linked below as well. She is such an inspiring artist and she does all kinds of quirky little things. So I wanted to take this head that I love that she made and put it on the body of an octopus. I felt it was too busy on the right hand side so I just re-stamped a bolder image on the left and put it there and I really like how it came out. I think it was super cute. This is more of her collage sheets that I'm cutting up um, and kind of making work for me. Don't be afraid to cut up your ephemera and do something different with it. It doesn't have to be used as the full image. I feel like we often bind ourselves to using the full thing and it really kind of stumps our creativity and we miss out on making all kinds of awesome unique things. So definitely cut yourself up. So at this point I was still playing on journaling on this page so I pulled out that page on the left to cut up and make a tip in with. And this is about the moment that I decided I officially needed to buy a tiny attacher 
I use a giant stapler to staple that on there and there's nothing wrong with that at all but it does get a little annoying with the underside of the giant staple on the next page so I had noticed that they weren't selling tiny attachers in the store anymore and the only place I could find one was on Amazon and I was super afraid that like they're gonna discontinue them which they probably already have and I just missed the memo so if you want one, you should probably go jump on getting that because you might not be able to get them in the future. And I love mine, guys. It's, it's worth the $10 or whatever it was. So here I'm just using some of my Dr. P.H. Martin iridescent inks. I use a purple color and a jade, the jade. I watered them down and slapped them on the page. I wanted to keep with the underwater theme, so I wanted this iridescent shimmer like water, but I didn't want it so dark that it would take away from the other elements on my page. And now I'm just taking some Distress Stain in the lilac color after the rest of it had dried and popping some more color down. I didn't want it to be shimmery, but I did want to add some more color and I love that purple color from Tim Holtz. It's absolutely wonderful. So I just took some sticky notes and covered up my images that I didn't want to get the bubbles on <laughs> that I just sprayed. I used Dilution's White Linen spray for that um, I wanted the bubbles to keep with the water theme obviously so I did that and then I take the Dr. PH Martin's teal ink non iridescent and make some splatters I love layering color up it adds so much depth to your page and it's just it's so much fun and I get some on the picture, so I wipe that off. And this is about the time it comes off, I think. Soon. So these are stickers from Pam's Etsy shop as well. And I'm just making a pile here on the right hand side of things that I think would go with the page that I might want to use. And I decide on using this, um, it's like a buildings image and when I put it on there in the position that I did I thought it kind of looked like a sinking pirate ship which was really cool and then I put these adorable little plant curls on the top I think they are so cute oh here it goes it comes off there we go and it just oh, I'm so glad I did that it looks so much better Now these are some photos that I printed with my Canon selfie and a lot of them are from Instagram or Pinterest and this one in particular I think is from a wallpaper app. It was a suggestion given to me by Pam and I'm so happy that she told me about that. I never thought of getting a wallpaper app for images but it they have the most amazing um, images on there and I really really like this one so I have a love-hate relationship with these Amy Tangerine clear stickers I love them so much on the sheet and then when you go to use them unless you have them on something white you can't read it like it has to be on white or you can't read it and a lot of my stuff isn't white when I'm done because I've created so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to use those um, that doesn't drive me crazy so I'm just adding a title um, and I end up putting create what jives with your soul because I just absolutely love how this page came out everything on it speaks to me um, it just, it makes me so happy looking at it. 
I love all the colors and I'm obsessed with mermaids and it's just <sighs> and eyeballs it's a beautiful piece it really is for me anyway so yeah after I get the title on that's about it thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around for this I will be filming a favorites video for next week and we'll have my usual plan with me obviously so I hope to see you guys back here soon take care bye bye